as you were discussing nature and guidance, the images came into my mind of how society presents the images, the uh, symbols of male and female. Uh, one with the circle and the, I believe, a T. Mm -hmm. And the other the circle arrow. and an arrow going out. Mm -hmm. Is this um, uh, their way of connecting with uh, that those ideas in um, in their in their symbols? Mm -hmm. And if so, can you explain them? Uh, yeah, the symbols are true symbols. Okay, they're true. Uh, they meet the requirement uh, of uh, what Islam in guidance advocates. Okay, so dhakar wa unfa, male and female, uh, mind and womb of mind. Okay, so here's a verse from the Quran where it says, "Reverence your guardian Lord." At taku rabu kumu levi khalaka kumu nafsin wahida, who created you all from an original human personality, okay? And from it, what men have, zoja have, it's mate, okay? So we have that reference. Uh, it's mate being nature, all right? The original personality being the original human form, mating with its nature, okay? And in that process, impregnating its nature to produce more that have the same uh, composition. So in another place in the Quran, you have uh, Allah says, Inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa unfa wa ja'alnakum shu'ubin wa kaba'ina li ta'arafu. Surely, we have created all of you from dhaka, a mind, wa unfa, and a womb for it. And, uh, and we have made it so that you are established in shu'u wa kaba'in. You have to go back in the classes, and I talked about this. Shu'u, Shatban, Shu'ab, talking about the same thing. All right, Kabail, talking about the talking about that which preceded, that which needs to be confirmed. Kabail, Kibla. The Kibla has to be confirmed, right? Or else it's not the Kibla. How is it confirmed? Imam Ibrahim, he called me this morning. He said, Brother Imam, uh, does the, the podium where you speak from for the khutbah, does it have to be in line with the Qibla? I said, yes. So he was asking for a confirmation, right? So the Qibla is confirmed upon us confirming it as the Qibla. Allah reveals it and we confirm it, right? Kaba'il. That which, that which proceeds, okay? So, dhakar wa unfa. Dhakar, a mind, a male, the male urge, the male urge. I'm not talking about necessarily the body function, but it is, okay? But it's the male urge, it's the urge of the male. What does the male do? It goes out. The, the, the world, the children are introduced to the world from dad. And the word father is related to father, okay, in English. So the man has the, the you know, traditionally has the, even though you have women now who compete with the men for this, but they're operating in their own human urge, all right, the male urge. It's the male urge that's in all of us. Male and female. The female urges in all of us, the male urges in all of us, okay? But the, the male body is the symbol 
uh, in the world, in the natural world, that gives us uh, the, the uh, fixed idea of movement for the male, all right? So uh, this is the activity of the intellect in the world. But there needs to be a wound to develop it. There needs to be a wound that brings it into the world. So there's the relationship, okay? And so thus is the natural human, okay? And the human that is also natural that goes out. And so the symbols are correct, male and female. Not to say that, I don't know that the people who developed the symbols were reading the Quran. They're reading nature. They're reading nature. And uh, this Ramadan session, as I said, is an is a, is a, uh, expression of Imam W.D. Muhammad reading nature and guidance. This is a need in our people, right? It's a need in our people, but here's the revelation saying that the month of Ramadan is the month in which the revelation was sent down as guidance to mankind. So what can be categorized as Imam W.D. Muhammad's mission more than that in the tradition of Muhammad the Prophet, right? 